Hey, today we're going to be doing a really newbie GIMP tutorial. This is for those people out there that might be using MS Paint or Money Shop or dot some other program to be doing your photo editing. I want to introduce you to the GIMP. It's a highly advanced and free software package for editing pictures and photos of all types. GIMP stands for GNU Image Manipulation Program. And not only is it free, but more importantly, it's the most advanced open source editing program that exists. And you can pick it up at www.gimp.org. Just click download. All right, now let's close this out and start GIMP up here. You'll notice GIMP's multi-windowed layout. To get the image we want to make a thumbnail of, let's go to File, Open, and navigate to the file you want to make a thumbnail of, and just click Open. Now we have a file loaded in GIMP. At this time, just go up to Image, Scale Image, and depending on how you want to make your thumbnail, you can put the width and height in the pixels default, or you can do them as a percentage, or you can do them as any of these other metrics. You may want to use a percentage, put in 25% to make your image 25% as big as before, this link here will allow you to set a different width and height percentage for your image if you want to. Just unclick it and you can set this to 50% of the original height and 25% of the original width. What I want to do is I want to keep the same height and width ratio. So I'm going to leave these linked together at the same ratio. Now GIMP knows that with my current resolution of the image that it cannot set it to exactly 25%. So it set it as close as possible to 25.09%. Currently the highest quality of interpolation is cubic. So I'm going to stick with that and click scale. Now I have an image that's 25% as big as my original image. You can see the new resolution here at the top of the window, 138 by 138. Now that you have your thumbnail, just go to File, Save As, and type in a new file name, Thumbnail. I'm going to change the file extension to JPEG and click Save. If you see this window come up, just click Export and it'll take care of this for you. Now in the next dialog, it gives you some options for saving the JPEG before it finishes click here on the preview and it'll show you what the new file size will be. Generally setting the quality to 85 to 95 percent is okay. If you want to save the best quality photo just boost it up to 100 percent and then click save. Down here you have the message image saved. And that's it for changing most images to thumbnails. Alright you can check out more awesome tutorials on GIMP over at penguintutorials.com and thanks for watching.